The economic crisis in South Sudan has hit many young men and women, with some forced to close their businesses, while others with a variety of options to survive. Naomi Kiliona, a mother of four, says her salary is not enough for the basic needs of her family. The money that I used to budget for the house cannot do much anymore. So to access good medical care is not easy. And we have changed our children who used to be in better schools to now a middle school so that we can be able to pay their fees. At the moment, life is not easy. Whatever we try to do, things are not working out. The landlords want their money. The city council are here. Things are affecting us so badly. And I don't know what to do. I don't know really what to do and where we are going. Zach Mayul owns a shop selling food items in Shirikat area. He says his business is not doing well. I actually shut down my business. Reason being, I could not cope up with the market, the supplier, because it's a small, it's a small business that I started with my personal money, meaning I was depleting my bank account to start a retail business. But unfortunately, the people that were giving me goods in the market on credit, you come back tomorrow, you find like things have moved, and you have to run with the dollar. So, and also, it's not fair. Abiyare Lawrence is an advocate who runs a law firm. He says. He offers free legal services to attract more clients. Once we do pro bono service and we do excellent job, uh, free of charge, legally, it helps us to build a trust and hope and we get the generosity from these clients. And this is how some of us, the youths, are surviving here in this country. The South Sudanese pounds continues to lose value against the United States dollars, against the United States dollar every day. And it has lost 70% of its value this year. For VOA News, I am Juliana Sherpai, reporting from Juba.